Hey there guys, and welcome back to Nimby Rails. Last time we built up to Fairham, it cost 200 million. I could possibly get all the way to Southampton, he says. I'm like a third of the way there. And then I could do the full route rather than just stopping early at Fairham. Okay, where is the station in Southampton? Can I remember? It's sort of in an awkward place. Oh, is it there? There it is. Yeah. So, four platforms of station. Uh, I'll have to start there and drag it out this way, I think. Uh, no, I did want track. Uh, I did want station, not track. There we go. That'll, that'll do. Should work. Would let me do stuff. Uh, getting the branch off, obviously, an eternal pain. Ah, oh, shift. Shift changes which way it is. Okay, well that's good to know. I'll probably go and redo haven't then. Hello haven't. Not haven't. Fratten. I haven't got haven't yet. Fratten. Hello. Delete. There we go. Branch. So if I sort of. Okay, so the issue was actually finding a place where it was the right length. Yeah, it wasn't allowing me to. How do I have to make it? Okay, maybe we just don't have that for now. However, over here we might be able to do something. And then sort of mess about with these and see if I can make that set of points look slightly nicer. Which I can't. But that will do. I mean, that's not wrong. So it's now just the depot that's not connected there. Back to Southampton. It goes into a tunnel. And then it comes out of that tunnel somewhere. I'm going to get maps up on a different screen. And then possibly consider time-lapsing some of this building because it's just going to be the same as what you've already seen.
Okay, I'm back. I've finished building the line out to Southampton. It's it's going to cost 378 million, so actually not nearly as much as I was expecting. I was expecting nearly half a million. It just gives me some money to buy the trains. Um, it's not too bad in the end. Although three stations being on Viaduct is a little weird. Oh, I guess that's yeah, that's two at Portsmouth Harbour and one at Portsmouth South. So that's that's fair enough. I'm quickly going to go through and name everything, and then we will buy the blueprint. In the time it's taken to do this, made basically nothing. I've started refunding people, but I'm still making a profit overall, I think. Only just. The island is not... Like, it's profitable, but not significantly. Alright, we're going to see as I go round if I can remember all the station names. I get a bit lost in uh, the section between Fareham and St Denis. So this is caution. It all just don't type, sure. And then Porchester and Fareham and Uh, Swanick, uh, Burselton, I would assume, from the nearby area name. Then we get a bit sort of netly. This might be Hamble. Hamble, yeah, or, or we could, you know, type this earth is netly. Then that's uh, this will be Schulling because I have no idea if I'm pronouncing these right because this is Woolston, this is Bitten, Lord Road Recreational Park. I don't think so. Saint Denis and not not Pure Southampton Central. Done. You sort of see the area catchments, we're not catching it, we're not nearly catching everything in Southampton, which is I'll get a tram in in the future. This is what he's actually caught in real life though, apparently, according to these catchment areas. I wouldn't disagree with Portsmouth, but that's not far to walk. I feel like the catchment areas could be a bit bigger. Anyway, build all blueprints. I would like to build the current blueprints. Uh, that was a lot of money. But I still have some money, so that's something. Uh, I need a new line. It's going to be blue. Unfortunately, we can't sort of copy the exact blue. There's no colour codes, so we're guessing. But we're not five. Okay. Uh, then we're naming it SWR. EMH2. So you, that's uh, Ports of Harbour, Southampton Central. I know the three letter codes of some stations, <laughs> not all of them. Um, I don't know what the ideal speed's going to be yet. I've not got the trains. It's going to come out. In fact, it doesn't actually come out of Ports of Harbour. It comes out of Ports of the South Sea. Actually, that was a bit of excessive extra track there, but oh well. Um, now, technically in the UK we drive on the left. This drives on the right. There's not a lot I can do about that. Unfortunately. We just kind of have to roll with it. Uh, I platform C. And then C. It says... D B B B B B B B okay, eventually fair and B Corchester Caution we'll C uh, Fratton and that's it. So, interval, I think it's a uh, 
hour interval this service the trains do 120 apparently so ideal speed 120 estimate times how long are you estimating the entire journey to take it's a Dennis no, it's at Southampton Central and St. Dennis. Between them is 11 minutes. Why is it so long? I don't know why it should take that long. <laughs> but okay. Um, I'm not doing that addition. I'm going to have to though, aren't I? We're going to do it roughly. 8, 12, 16, 20. Nine, 19, 20 seconds now. 24, 20, 30, uh, 32, 34, 35, 38 seconds, 39, 41, 42, 52, a little bit. Yeah, we'll do two trains. Uh, <laughs> Two units, 44 million, apparently. And put you on this route. And the other one, we also put you on this route. Sorted. And I'm going to change the base colours because I'm not happy with it. There we go. Sorted. And I can close this menu, and we exist. Apparently. Should start making some money, hopefully. Hopefully people are happy with the amount they'd pay for that train. But who knows, really. And they, they seem to be working out quite well. So they'll pass, like, halfway along the line. Fair um, Yeah, we pass around to Torlock, which I think is pretty accurate. In reality, it's probably run by three trains, so they have a longer turnaround, because I think in the end, they have a 30 second turnaround at Southampton and a couple of minutes at Portsmouth South, which isn't ideal. But So, we're sort of we're, we're running down the money now. We're getting towards the point I'm going to have to just leave it running for a while soon. Hopefully this is profitable. I'll keep an eye on the refunds situation because that's where we could lose out on a lot. Do you kind of want to see it when it comes out of... Here it goes. It comes along here. I believe it just switches across like that. There we go. There's a lot of different junction dealing going on through there. And then again, up here, it probably sets off quite a few sets of points. Blocking. There we go. It arrives. You claim to be 200 litres and you're visually taking up half that, so thanks. You should be around 200 metres though. That would be sensible, so not a big deal. Anyway, that's uh, that's the Portsmouth to Southampton route, so hopefully that does something useful. Hopefully we make some money back next time. Who knows? I'll probably start trying the... Uh, I'd like to get Portsmouth up to at least Woking done, if not all the way into Waterloo. It's going to be quite expensive, there's some tunnels to get done. And whatnot on the way up. But we'll see. So hopefully that could work for some quite long distance journeys. With changing it. Who knows where. Probably Fratton at the moment. Normally you change it. Haven't and Cosham, but there's no... Not going to be a route doing that yet. Still annoyed that I can't get this depot in. What I did manage to do, however, was I got the Northern Depot in at Southampton. 
kind of. There's a, yeah, the junctions are a bit messy here, but it works. But yes, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.